life is going to have way more carbon 12 than carbon 13 because it's lighter. And so whatever enzymatic action is happening, the enzymes are lazy and they're going to use the carbon 12 more than the carbon 13 because the carbon 13 is harder to move around, yep. right? It takes so more energy. It takes more energy, right. And so for whatever little bit of energy you have, you're going to usually, just by probability, fix the carbon 12 into your organic chemistry more than your carbon 12, carbon 13. 13. That makes so sense. by looking at this abundance, we can also tell whether what we're looking at is alive now or has died and it's just sort of, you know, part of the thing. Yes. Right? Yes. And from this, they, they found that when they look at the mud line, right, they have this two meters, two or three meters of the ocean floor. Yes. At the very top, that's close to the ocean floor, they don't see a lot of these biomarkers. Okay. So a lot of the stuff is dead. But underneath, they're seeing living organisms, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? So there's a living tissue that's happening underneath. There's a layer of dead stuff. Yeah. And then there's active biology. Underneath it. Underneath it. Mm -hmm. Right. And by doing a bunch of different oxidation measurements and like HPLCs and all this other kind of stuff, they came up with a really complicated ecosystem where the methane comes from the bottom and the mm, CO2 comes from the top, top and the water comes from the top. And they have all of these different mechanisms that they've actually traced through yeah. yep. to create a, a, a magnificent ecosystem. Right. This is it, it. There's a circle of life just for this. Just it, in there. Just in this area. Isolated from the sun. There's no sun. Right. Right. Which is important. This is important. It's isolated from the sun. It's completely driven by chemical processes that are happening because of the interaction between water and the Earth's crust. Right. Mm -hmm. And it's completely in isolation from the rest of life on Earth. Mm -hmm. There's two stable isotopes there's carbon 13 and carbon 12 carbon 12 is way more abundant than carbon 13 but both are sort of mixed in together um there's a baseline like there's a baseline abundance of them 